In 2005, space experts found a Jupiter-sized exoplanet, HD 189733b, with an unmistakable Earth-like blue color 63 light-years away. Be that as it may, in contrast to Earth, HD 189733b was not blue in view of its oceans and seas. Rather, the shading originated from its silicate-rich clouds. HD 189733b is additionally lethal. The main issue is the 8,700 km per hour, 5,400 miles per hour winds that blow over the exoplanet. That is multiple times the speed of sound, which is madly quick. For examination, top supported breezes of the infamous Hurricane Katrina blew at 280 km for every hour, 175 miles per hour, then there is the downfall. The silica-rich billows of HD 189733b reason downpour of liquid glass to tumble from the skies. That downpour doesn't fall straight down as a result of the superfast winds we just discussed. Rather, this bizarre precipitation falls sideways, one, even on the off chance that we by one way or another discovered our way around that. We would even now need to manage the high temperatures on the exoplanet. HD 189733b is so near its star that it is strangely hot. To place that in better viewpoint, it is so close to its sun that HD 189733b finishes an insurgency around its star in simply 2.2 Earth days. Curiously, a day on this exoplanet is additionally 2.2 Earth days long. The gravitational communication between a planet and its star can make a planet have a day and year of a similar length if the planet turns out to be tidally bolted to its star. Similarly as our moon is tidally bolted to the Earth, this implies the planet pivots on its hub in a similar measure of time that it takes to finish one upset around its star. Pivots cause days and evenings, and transformations cause years. A tidally bolted planet consistently keeps the similar side toward its sun. In this way, one side is sentenced to constant daytime while different has never-ending evening time. In February 2009, space experts working the convection, rotation and planetary transits Coro satellite found another exoplanet in the Minoceros heavenly body 480 light-years from Earth. They called it Coro 7b. Coro 7b is a rough, Earth-like exoplanet despite the fact that it used to be a Saturn-sized hot Jupiter, a term used to depict the colossal gas-filled planets outside our own nearby planetary group with tight circles around their stars. Regardless of having a rough surface that could bolster life, Coro 7b isn't the spot to be, for starters, its environment is loaded up with minerals that structure rock mists. These mists send stones and little shakes tumbling from the skies as though they were down for. Regardless of whether people figured out how to endure that, they would be pulverized by the madly sweltering surface temperature of the exoplanets. Our own Earth is multiple times farther from our Sun than Coro 7b is from its star. In the daytime, the star in the skies of Coro 7b seems multiple times greater than our own Sun looks from here on Earth. Disgusting daytime, Coro 7b may likewise be tidally bolted to its star. A day and a year are simply 20.4 hours long, too, as you may have speculated this implies a large portion of the exoplanet for all time faces its star. The surface temperature of that side is between 1,980 degrees Celsius, 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit, and 2,300 degrees Celsius, 4,220 degrees Fahrenheit, which is sufficient to dissolve rock. Space experts accept that the stones as an afterthought confronting the sun are liquid since they can't stay strong at that temperature.